Hey there guys, welcome back to another video and today what we're going to talk about is wireless technology and well, you know, wireless technology is great and all in advancement in technology but at what cost is it to consumers? If there's one thing that I've learned, it's that everything isn't always the way it turns out to be. By that I mean wireless technology is great, but what they forget to mention is the bad that comes with radio wave. Having things like our phone and router emit signal back and forth should raise the question if there's something that you need to worry about. Now, what exactly is radio waves or electromagnetic radiation? Think of it like this. If you go out into the sun, you will feel the heat of the sun on your skin. The effect going on there is called electromagnetic radiation. It comes with many different nicknames as well, such as gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet light, or simply radio waves. Gamma rays, for example, have very short distances between crests, and radio waves have longer distances in comparison. So like in your house, you may have a wireless mouse, wireless router that emits a wireless signal of, say, 2.4 or 2.5 gigahertz, which basically translates to 2.4 to 2.5 billion waves a second. Now the same thing goes along with 5 GHz signals with, um, which translates to 5 billion waves a second. Knowing this, some people are oversensitive to electromagnetic radiation and can fall ill to this type of exposure. There is an author by the name of Kate Fijis who installed wireless equipment in her home and later felt ill. She described it as being proded all over the body with a thousand fingers. So she got rid of the wireless equipment and you know, she was cured of all of her illnesses. Some people aren't even aware that this is the type of issue that's going on. The scientific view states otherwise. The waves being emitted from phones and routers are harmless, so they can be adopted all around the world. Since there's a standard to exposure, it apparently doesn't affect you. The National Council of Radiation Protection and Measurements and the Institute of Electrical and e Electronic Engineers developed something called the Specific Absorption Rate, or SAR. SAR is a measurement of how much radio frequency energy is absorbed by living tissue. It is measured in watts per kilogram or milliwatts per gram. So by having a value of say 1.6 watts per kilogram for mobile phones means that your head can receive up to this amount of frequency with this phone in use and higher levels of exposure will cause the tissue to heat up and having an extremely large gain in temperature rise is obviously harmful like the kinds happening in a microwave for example and I'm pretty sure you just don't want that. Devices that give off anything regarding wireless technology gives off this type of warmth, but much less. The best way to see if you're affected by radiation is to go outside and see if you feel any different when you're outside. Like, take a visit to the park or go camping and see how you feel out there and then come back home. And you have to be conscious of your your person to see if you feel anything internally that's different when you go outside from when you're in home and without actually looking into this you wouldn't even know that it was going on now if you liked everything in this video please let me know by hitting that like button down below and leave a comment to tell me how you feel about this situation now that you know that wireless technology is affecting you in a sort of way but it may not and until you really test it out so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace